Hello everyone. We are watching Tamil AME Vlogs. Today we are going to see about the aircraft disc braking system. Without delay, let's get into the video. Before that, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon button. Let's get into the video. Before removing the brake assembly, we need to remove the aircraft wheel by removing the aircraft following parts. First is wheel cup. Then after castel nut. then after a lock washer then bearing sealant then taper roller bearing here why taper roller bearing is used means the taper roller bearing assesses both radial load and axial load that's why it's, it is used by adjusting the aircraft wheel just to remove the taper roller bearing then remove the aircraft wheel then remove the tapered roller bearing and the sealant on the other side this is how the aircraft landing gear brake assembly looks it consists of numerous parts such as thrust plate stator rotor piston return assembly and so on this braking system is operated by the hydraulic system by hydraulic fluid and all and it also employs the anti skid system we can remove this brake assembly by just giving axial force on the shaft or axle now we remove the assembly let's uh, look on detail about the parts that following parts stator rotor uh, thrust plate and all to remove the brake assembly first we need to remove the bolts on the thrust plate it consists of nearly four bolts in this assembly with a precise torque value in each bolts we need to remove that usage of a ratchet socket wrench with the correct size is good to remove the assembly and it is also the recommended one, recommended one to remove the bolts now we remove the bolts let's disassemble it first we need to remove the thrust plate which has stator on one side then rotor this is rotating along with the aircraft wheel it is a rotating part also then stator on both sides then again rotor stator is to provide the braking action by creating the friction on the rotating rotor due to that friction rotor speed along with the aircraft wheel is reduced and hence the braking action is achieved then comes the torque tube which transmits the motion in the here crown assembly to remove the crown assembly we need to remove the bolts in the return assembly now we are removing the bolts on the return assembly now we remove the crown with the return assembly you have seen the aspetas 
the torpedoes are used to prevent the damage of the piston while the braking action is applied these are all torpedoes now we are removing the return assembly that return assembly is used to spring back the piston to its original position after the application of a brake here you can see the return assemblies this return assembly is spring loaded to make the piston to reach its original position after the force from the brake pedals are removed in other words we can see it makes the piston to regain its neutral position after the application of force braking force simply it made the piston to regain its original position like that uh, we can say here you can see the brake piston that black colored one which applies the braking force on the stator and rotor and aspedas with the piston to prevent the damage of the piston here you can see the four pistons on the crown and aspedas hydraulic fluid through this passage causes the piston to expand against the thrust plate and return assembly as i said previously return assembly is used to regain the piston to its original position thrust plate of the stator is mounted like this in the assembly when the hydraulic fluid is applied the piston and aspedas stretches the thrust plate make the stator to touch with the rotating rotor due to this contact of stator and rotor friction is developed between the stator and rotor because one is rotating and another one is non rotating right stator is rota non rotating rotor is rotating due to this the aircraft will reduce its power due to the friction between the stator and rotor then after the application of brakes which means the force removed from the brake pedals the return assembly makes the piston to regain its original position okay this is how the brake operates to achieve anti skidding valves of hydraulic fluid system supplies the hydraulic fluid in the intermittent manner to achieve the anti skidding system this is how the brake assembly will fit with the aircraft landing gear this is how it fits with the landing gear now let's assemble it install the bolts on the thrust plate with the stator and install the crown with the aspedas on the piston then install the thrust plate with the crown then install the return assembly with the crown after installing return assembly install the respective sleeves of the return assembly after installing sleeves of the return assembly install the nut above the sleeves then start tightening the following nuts
After tightening the nuts, install the torque tube in the proper manner. Then after the rotor, the rotating part, then both side stator, stator plates on both sides, then again rotor, then after cover plate, Then install the respective bolts. The bolts have a precise torque value. Refer the maintenance manual for the torque value and tighten it with the torque value. Use the correct torque value to tighten the bolts because these bolts are very critical parts of the brake assembly. Now the assembly process is finished. We are going to install it in the aircraft landing gear. This is how we need to install the brake system in the landing gear. Large aircraft has different tools to install and dismantle the brake assembly. But this is a small aircraft. Then install the hydraulic uh, supply flare fitting. Tighten it to the recommended torque value. Now brake assembly is fitted. Hereafter we need to install the aircraft wheel. Install the taper roller bearing and the sealant. Then fit the aircraft wheel. While installing the aircraft wheel, carefully align the rotor of the brake assembly with the aircraft wheel.
now we just align it after alignment install the sealant and the tapered roller bearing After taper roller bearing and sealant, install the lock washer. Then install the castle nut and tighten the castle net with the recommended torque value here you can see the holes on the aircraft wheel rim right that holes are used for heat dissipation of the brake unit because while braking a large amount of heat is generated to dissipate that heat that holes are used for that air cooling like that it is the holes are used that's all about the aircraft braking system Hope you learned something. If you like this video, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon button. See you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye, be safe. Thank you. See you in the next video.